guys, this is Tarot with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today I'm doing a walkthrough of a spread that I created called the Witch's Hat Spread. I thought this spread might be appropriate for the Samhain season or Halloween season, um, but you know, you can use this spread all year round, um, especially for all my witchy homies out there. Uh, so um, I haven't asked a question or anything. This is strictly for um, placement of the cards, just so you guys can get a visual for it. Um, if you're wondering what the deck I'm using is, I'm using the Halloween Oracle by Stacy DeMarco. Okay, so first things first, um, I want to get to the first card. So the first card is here, um, and in this case, it's Trick or Treat. Um, and the question is, what's bubbling to the surface? So whatever your question may be, um, you know, like maybe something's coming up. Um, so, or let's say you can always do a like a where you're at at this time. So you can pose a question or you can just do a general energy at this time. Uh, so for question number one, it says what's bumbling to the surface. So what's coming up for you right now? Um, you know, if you are in a situation and you're just like, why is this? Like what, what's going on? Um, this can give you a little bit of, okay, here's the situation. Here's actually what's going on, you know, from you know, and you can, uh, I would probably use uh, Oracle cards. Of course, you can always use tarot for this, but um, okay. Question number two, it's called scrying in my cauldron. And that is over here. Um, Wally might come walking through because as you know, he loves to be the start of the show. Um, and this is clarity on the situation. So this is what's coming up for you right now. Um, and this just clarifies why certain things might be coming up for you right now. Um, why is it an issue? Uh, why you might be feeling the things that you're feeling right now? So it's as if you, you were scrying into your cauldron, as if you're trying to gain um, a, a new perspective or clarity or uh, just insight into a situation. Position number three is right here. And position number three is called herbs and oils. Um, so, okay, we know what the situation is. We have clarity on the situation. So how can we go about working on it, healing it, fixing it, or steps towards, um, you know, taking a new direction? So uh, what can we do to help ourselves? And that's in this situation. Okay, position number four, right here, is called break out the besom. So in this particular situation, what is, what, negative energy or people or um, situation um, is not good for you at this time. So it's, it's just exacerbating the problem, whatever the problem may be. So what do we need to chase away? It could be negative thinking, it could be actual people, it could be, you know, um, and it might be more, more difficult, let's say if like it's a boss. So at least you know where that negative energy is coming from so you know how to protect yourself. Um, and uh, oftentimes, sometimes we're like, why do I feel this way? And we might think it's ourselves when really we're just feeding off of the negative energy of others. Okay, question number five, right over here. <laughs> I have Wally on my back, by the way. It's called Raise Your Athame, and, uh, and then the puma jumps on my back. Um, so in this particular situation, nobody's ever powerless. So what is your power at this time? Um, or who you who can you call in to help? So maybe it's a spirit guide. Maybe it's angels. Maybe it's deity. Maybe um, it's an actual person here on earth that you can call in for help. Maybe it's your best friend. Maybe it's your Wally Walito that is on my back right now. <laughs> maybe it's your animal. Um, you know, they can offer um, a lot of comfort and power to us, you know, especially when we're feeling down or we're feeling less than. Okay. Question or position number six. Sorry, I have to hold Wally on my back because my hair is rather slippery and I don't want him slipping down my back. Um, so it's called your personal witchy power in the situations. Okay, so this is the power that you can call on. Um, and this is your own personal witchy power. So what can you bring personally? And at the very top. <laughs> As I move very slowly and deliberately to keep the puma on back. <laughs> it's his page for my grimoire. Um, so in this situation that's happening, even if it's a situation that isn't ideal, um, how can the situation or this problem possibly benefit you? 
Um, how can it benefit you on your path? What lessons can you learn so that um, this pattern doesn't repeat or the situation doesn't repeat? Um, so what are the positives basically that you can take out of this? So just like um, you would add in your grimoire if certain spells worked or did not work or uh, what parts of them worked or what parts of them didn't. Sometimes we journal in our grimoires, um, you know, how certain things made us feel or what we got out of things. Same thing here. So what did you get out of that situation? What positively can you glean from the situation? All right, so that's it for me, spiritual homies. Just wanted to quickly take you through this. Um, Wally, are you going to think about getting down? Not really. Okay, so <laughs> let me know what you guys thought of this spread. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave that in the comment section below. If you would like to catch a reading with me, and maybe you possibly would like uh, me to use a spread like this, just let me know upon booking. And um, don't forget that in my Etsy shop, there is a 20% off all jewelry items, all readings for the entire month of October. So all the way through the 31st. Um, and that's it for me. So if you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe. And don't forget to click that little ding ding notification bell so you can get more videos just like this. All right. So I will catch you all later. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out and happy Halloween.